Welcome back. I am very pleased to introduce new lectures on regression and control. All right, so let me jump start. What do we mean by regression? Regression is basically a collection of techniques for estimating the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Let me define dependent and independent variables. Let me start with the independent variable. So we say a variable x is independent when its value is independent of other variables. For example, you can think of time. Time basically progresses independently than other events. On the other hand, a dependent variable, as you can guess, depends on changes in the independent variable. For example, let's say you simply have y equals to some weight w1, w2 multiplied by x, think x as time, as time changes, your y changes. As this being said, for representations like this, we call model. Model basically captures how dependent variables change as a function of independent variables. And if we know from the data, if we can guess a, a model, then we call that model a parametric model. For example, right in this case, a line equation. Uh, to be more clear, let's look at this uh, figure. We have a bunch of blue dots representing data. So when I look at this data, I can guess that, well, this is kind of a polynomial function and polynomial order is x to the power of 2. So I can create a model like y equals to some bias multiplied by some weight multiplied by x and another weight multiplied by x to the power of 2, then this represents the uh, parametric model of this data set, then this red curve is the basically curve fitting to this data we're going to talk. Anyway, so from the data, if you can understand whether it is line, uh, parabola, so on and so forth, we can say these are the parametric models, but of course, data can be very big, um, very um, it may be very hard to guess a model. For those cases, we would like to consider non-parametric models. And when we consider non-parametric models, we can, for example, uh, approximate the models using um, po polynomials, neural networks, so on and so forth. We're going to cover all these within these lecture series. This is kind of the introduction video. All right, so why do we care about regression? First of all, I will give two examples. For example, a car manufacturer uses regression to predict sales of a new car model based on factors like, for example, price, horsepower, um, um, fuel, so on and so forth. Um, another example, a team player can use regression to understand how different player statistics like shots on goal, passes completed, how those impact the likelihood of winning a game. These are all possible uh, using a regression. And what about, you can ask, what about using regression for control? Actually, um, just before starting these uh, lecture series, I finished a, a research paper which is using regression. So in the, in the context of control theory, we use regression for path planning for optimization and constraint enforcement. It has applications to adaptive control and learning, system identification and machine learning tools that are used in control. I will show a very uh, simple path planning example here. Uh, we are going to dive into details. For example, let's say in in a three-dimensional space, in a two-dimensional space with respect to time, I want my robot to visit these waypoints. So I can use basically regression techniques to fit this black line to these points so that I can move uh, path plan um, my robot to go through this trajectory. You can avoid obstacles, so on and so forth. And again, um, it has a lot of applications and I would like to cover some of them within these lecture series. Um, if you like them, subscribe and uh, give a like, turn notifications on. And as always, if you have any 
suggestions for the topics related with regression and control, let me know. All right, so um, the initial set of topics that uh, I am planning to cover in this playlist, regression and control, I would like to start with linear regression, which is the most common regression way. And I will introduce least squares method. And immediately after the gradient descent, least squares and gradient descent are the bread and butter of regression. And then we're gonna look at parametric models or structured, non-parametric models, unstructured. I would like to also cover composite function construction, basically constructing functions uh, for, um, for, you know, for spatial needs that we're gonna explore. Motion planning in control and constraints in control. These are the initial topics, and in uh, if you are familiar with my uh, videos on the on my channel on different lists, I always cover important theoretical steps to understand each topic in detail, and I also include step by step MATLAB examples, including the codes. Codes will be seen on these videos so that if you are interested on a, on a topic, you can directly jump on it, uh, code it, and start working on it yourself. All resources are reachable, and um, as you may saw from other videos, I respond to the comments uh, fairly quickly. So, um, and um, we can go from there. All right, so you may ask for this new uh, lecture uh, series, for this new playlist, for, for this new lecture on regression and control, what prerequisites you will need. Basically, go to this playlist, Lectures on Adverse Control Systems. At the very bottom of these 29 videos, there are two important preliminary videos. One of them is vector, other one is matrix operations. Vectors and matrices are um, I am going to use it twice, bread and butter in control theory and in regression as well. It makes everything much easier to uh, formulate, to make you understand. And you will only need these two videos most of the time for the initial set of topics. For the later set of topics that I will touch on control, a background on modeling stability and control for dynamical systems is needed. Again, all the preliminary background stuff you need is on this playlist. As this being said, I would like to mention something that I used when I was student, still I am using as a professor, a great resource. Go to this link and download the Matrix cookbook. cookbook. This is an awesome PDF and it, is, it contains excellent resource of bunch of mathematical expressions, derivatives, all these properties that uh, you may need at some point in your education, in your research, if you are working on industry, in formulating some stuff. So that's all. I, again, I am very happy to start regression and control lecture series. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe, turn notifications on, then we can go from there. Thank you.